Well, Babington is very proud to host the Yonex All England Championships. This is the 107th year of the event. Um, it's still very much regarded as the most prestigious title in the world. Um, we're extremely proud and privileged to host this on behalf of our members, on behalf of the players and the world of our sport, and also on behalf of the Babington World Federation. And we couldn't do it without the amazing support that we get from Yonex and from our other partners, City Council and others that have supported these championships for so many years. So everywhere I go around the world, the players consistently tell me that the All England Championships is the, is the event that they still want to win. You know, this is the, the jewel in the crown. Um, it's up there with the Olympic Games, with the World Championships in terms of the prestige of this title. Um, and we, we, you know, we welcome over 300 players every year to this event, more than 400 volunteers. Um, the eyes of the world, the eyes of the badminton world and the sporting calendar in this country um, focus on the All England during this week. And, I think if, I, if I'm a player, this would absolutely be the arena um, that I want to be in. The presentation that we put in, the whole sports presentation, the excitement that builds up um, in the, the months and weeks leading up uh, to these championships is really quite something. And the whole Destination Dubai Tour kicks off with the Yonex All England Championships now. Uh, this is the first Premier Super Series event in the calendar. Um, and yeah, if, I, if I'm a player, this is where I want to be. Birmingham is, is the place to come to. The All England itself has been going, this is the 107th staging. Um, it's the 24th consecutive year here at the Barclay Card Arena, formerly the National Indoor Arena. Before that it was various venues including Wembley Arena. It's about the athletes, it's using them as an opportunity to, to inspire generations to come. So it's about giving them the opportunity to perform their best so that people in the crowd then think, I want to do that, I want to be part of that, I want to try and see if I can stand on those courts. So I think that's where the magic comes from for me. And I think for the athletes, they want to be here just to be in with a shot of lifting that trophy on finals day. So hopefully it's not just any old tournament. That's what we like to think. It's just not, it's not another competition. This is the Onyx All England. This is the one they want to win. It's the first in the, uh, the calendar as well. And it's, I think if you win this, you're off to a pretty good start.
this is the main event of the year. All in England, everybody turns up to this event. We're studying in London and we just, well, we, we, we ride a train from London at 5 a.m. We are from Odense in Denmark. Everyone from Malaysia, like, it's really good, yeah. Uh, we are supporting, of course, the men's double, Mess and Mess, and uh, we are supporting the women's double, um, Christina and uh, Camilla. Hopefully, I can see Ng Kalong from Hong Kong. Uh, look, Lin Dan from China. Uh, Lin Dan, Lin Dan. Lin Dan is my favorite badminton player. He's, uh, he's the best, the best, the best ever. <laughs> my favorite probably Li Zhong Wei. Li Zhong Wei! Oh, the ad cop. The ad cop. The Indonesians were making a fantastic atmosphere when their uh, men's double played, and uh, yeah, so it's it's a it's a fantastic event with a lot of different cultures and um, yeah, a good atmosphere. It's the biggest event in badminton history. The oldest event in badminton. A great chance for us to meet the uh, to meet our favorite players. Keeps it in Britain, keeps it so we can see the, the world class players in our own country. Yeah, it's good fun. Love to bring the young lads because yeah. these are the future. These are the future of badminton. It's a, it's a local tournament. It's a pre premier tournament for England as well, and we get to see all these special players, isn't it, all over the world. So today, um, the King Edward School Sport Partnership has um, basically given us the opportunity to bring our children down. So we've got three schools across our trust, which we try and give an opportunity for children to take part in every sport. Um, so badminton this year has been a massive hit, and for this, obviously, it gives the children something to look forward to. Well, we've got a bit of a obviously a fun day coming up. This year, it's been it's been massive. We've had a badminton coach come in, um, and the children are really taking to it. And the opportunity for these today, they've been itching to get here. The war crown, they were like uh, like a kid at Christmas, I think. So no, they're really really looking forward to it. And they've been on the courts today, um, doing all the different activities. And so they're loving it. They, they they said when they walked out the uh, out the tunnel into the into the into the main stadium, they were they were like, is this where the professionals come out? Is that the professionals training over there? The kids are yeah, the kids are really looking forward to watching. Obviously, the players that they look up to. It's been fantastic for them. They've really looked forward to today, so it's been great. Today's Legends Vision event, we've got Peter Gade and Taufik uh, Hideat. They're actually hosting the event uh, with the assistance of David Garrido, who's a Sky Sports presenter. Um, we hope to get Lin Dan and Lee Chong Wei there. We made a little video for the crowd just to, to show that they're supporting the event. We launched the event back in 2015 here. All of the world's media from Badminton are here. We've got the surprise guest of uh, Lee Yong Dae, who's joining the Legends family and I'm sure the, uh, the other legends are very excited about him joining their initiative in growing badminton globally. My name's Mark Lawrence. Um, I've been working with the Yonex Stringing team since 1994. So yeah, over 20 years now. The best part of being a, being a stringer is getting to go to different countries, see different people, meet, meet the players, get to know them a little bit. Probably string a racket in around about 20 minutes. On the stringing service, we reckon if you're doing two and a half an hour, then that's pretty good going over, over the course of a whole day. Yeah, there are one or two players that do have certain requirements, so they prefer stringers that they know. They like to know the stringers so they've got confidence that the string is going to get a good job and uh, it's going to be what, they, what they're what they looking for. I think the most rackets I've strung in a day at a tournament is 32. The All England's the oldest tournament in the world. It is it's the most prestigious, it's the tradition, it's the history, it's, it's, it's all of that. If you look on the, the record books, um, anybody who's anybody who's you know, claimed to be in a top player 
as common as hopefully one tournament, one title is at uh, the All England. So I think that's really the, the, main, the main attraction. Well, yesterday, uh, Lynn Dan was playing. Um, so um, like some of these players, they always have favourite rackets. So his brother ran up, threw the racket to us, and we literally had to bang it out in 15 minutes, and then it was taken back down again as he was still playing. The in Indonesians are going on, uh, the one from the last game, about four o'clock today. And they dropped these in literally an hour ago, and they expect them to be back within an hour. Uh, we've done over 510 rackets now, so we're getting a little bit tired, but we're, we're still predominantly here for any of the finalists. If they want anything done urgently, then we're here to do it for them. Many many time, uh, All England is my favorite tournaments. Ya senang banget ya kita rasa bangga terus apa ya senang banget pasti bisa dapat All England pertama kali kan juga dengan sponsor baru bisa baru sign kontrak juga baru berapa nggak nyampe sebulan terus sudah bisa ada hasil kan udah senang lah udah bisa buktiin juga ke sponsor kan kita juga masih oke okay, gitu. For the players it's exceptionally important to be able to participate, to, to be able to win, to have a title because this is the major tournament and it is seen as the most prestigious tournament. And I also I want to next year come again and I defending one more champion in All England. For me, uh, All England is equal Wimbledon. Uh, it's just as big. so. I cherish this tournament very much. Throughout the years, Malaysian players are performing very well. This year, especially Lee Chong Wei are, play, are still playing, and also Lin Dan. So I think this makes uh, the All England uh, one of the uh, unique tournament in the world. Uh, I used to come and watch and be like I dreamt of playing out in the arena and yeah it's just an extra special feeling. Of course the England is a huge tournament. We love to be here. it's it's always a special feeling to go on court in, in this big stadium. I think a massive part of it is the history behind the Onyx All England that's been going on for so long. Um, and yeah, it's something we dream about winning one day. The Onyx All England for me is around passion, it's around the heritage and absolutely world-class delivery. <laughs>